So I wanted to make this video talking about what I don't like about being an INTP. I mean, it's fine, I guess, but there are also things that I for sure can say about what I don't like about being myself, this fucking personality type. And I think, see, yeah, there, there's already like a major issue that like I have with this is that I have too many fucking thoughts, bro. It's like so fucking annoying because I've noticed that when you go through life, plenty of people hold attachments to certain ideas and i guess they just call it like their values or something and they don't necessarily have like proper explanations for them it's just something that people hold on to themselves as like i don't know something that they think puts them like all together or something but i mean i don't really have that i think it's an inferior fi issue yeah i don't really well wait, no not inferior fi demon fi i have like inferior fe but speaking of which even inferior fe gets me into trouble with like a hell of a lot of people because I literally don't even think about how whatever the fuck I say is like perceived from like other people. I'm an ongoing thinking process bro that just like never stops and anything that I think about it just develops into more thoughts, more thoughts, more thoughts, more thoughts, more thoughts and they all basically have to duke it out and wrestle each other and try to I guess see which one will remain what will make sense out of everything that I could like possibly think of but then again no no because every single thought that I have just springs upon another thought then it springs upon another thought and it just never ends and people are always like oh you don't need an explanation for everything and Q ignorance is bliss which it seems like most of like a lot of people actually are, uh, are actually okay with despite what they fucking say about their fucking classism and elitism and like whatnot everybody wants to hold a degree of like ignorance just so they can continue maintaining some like made up fake and shallow script that they go through on a day-to-day -day basis just to make themselves comfortable with the fact that like they're only a slave to the survival instinct running away from death in which we live through cognitive dissonance which so many people don't even want to acknowledge but i think about death every single day because that's more guaranteed than any like stupid dream stupid fucking like i don't know thing that like people think that they're possibly going to achieve and whatnot their dreams or whatever whereas most dreams are most likely only going to be achieved through fucking sleeping bro but here's the thing about me i don't even really get dreams admittedly i mean they say everybody dreams but i don't really remember them and when i do remember a lot of my dreams they're always fucking nightmares for some reason me trying to survive some sort of like situation where i'm running from a thing that's like trying to kill me but anyway Oh yeah, speaking of which, I was talking about people that like, okay, say, oh, you don't really need an explanation for everything. And when I reach that point where I'm just like, oh shit, maybe there isn't an explanation for everything because every single belief is just working on assumption after assumption after assumption after assumption. And I feel like that's the manifest that's the manifestation of like my thoughts basically. It's all an epistemological nihilistic mess because this world, as I perceive it, as I conceptualize it, yes, it's all a fucking conceptualization. We humans have been propped on this earth, and we developed, I guess, a sense of language that, like, other animals don't. But see, here's the thing, though. We're just making stuff up, and nothing's actually real, and this is all just, you know, mental, like, masturbation or whatever. But then, see, then I can wrap it up with, like, nihilism. But then most people have an issue with that, and I guess it goes back to the whole, I don't know ignorance is bliss thing but not not in a way that we confront everything and be like oh everything's just meaningless and everything's just fake and it doesn't actually make any like fucking sense because that's too sad that's too depressing that's too blah 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 or like whatever but then i'm just like see what are you saying there's too many contradictions everywhere people are like oh quit overthinking get out of your head but i mean aren't we always in our heads I think this is just a trickster SE thing where I'm just like, I don't know how to fucking live in the actual world, bro. Because everything about my mind is always process oriented. That's what it is having like thoughts or some shit, right? You're always trying to piece whatever fits here, whatever fits this. But like, you know what? I can live every single day thinking. And that's what I do. I just think about shit. I just like, you know, contemplate, ponder, whatever. But I'm just like, you just keep hitting a brick wall, essentially, because Every bit of human knowledge, because nobody's omniscient, right? 
it's just a brick fucking wall and i'm just like okay everything's a lie every like like this entire world is just this like nihilistic conceptualization of things slapping each other insisting that they mean something even though they don't and we humans live every single day battling agendas battling this battling that but no no a lot of people can't face the fucking nihilism and i feel like as an intp i'm just like okay then what am i supposed to do because i can't fathom this incoherent oh be ignorant to a certain degree just so you're accepted by the tribe you're accepted by like the society or like whatever but then these people are also acting simultaneously that like their faith the thing that they put trust on the things that they put like whatever like means something and i'm just like it just makes i guess the the utilization of fe even the more fucking like dumb stupid and pointless because it's like Oh, sure, the temptation of getting along with everybody, fitting in with the tribe. But then also, wait, maybe the tribe's, like, fucking stupid. I mean, yes, the tribe is fucking stupid. But, oh, I'm fucking stupid as well in this, like, epistemological nihilistic mess that I've already covered. But then again, if there isn't even anything to actually know, what does it even mean to be stupid either? And see, every single time I have a thought, it just contradicts each other. Because these thoughts keep bouncing and bouncing and bouncing, and every single thought has its own, like, contradictory opposite perspective, right? So, it's like, I'm screaming in my head 24-7, but then again, nothing's actually being said, because there is nothing to say about life. And when we're headed down this pitch black darkness of, like, death, then, okay, the thinking or the whatever will just, like, stop, because everything's just, like, bound to end. So, like whatever this is is just a dumb charade like everything that you're gonna do afterwards after you're done watching my charade of a video you're gonna do your charade of a fucking whatever but you know what we'll just be maggot food we'll just be maggot food we'll just be fucking cremated whatever whatever in which or you know after we're dead life will go on yeah it'll just go on endlessly aimlessly people saying stupid words that are just you know being parroted through generations to generations to generations and it's just like oh like whatever